Sakarin. Well, those look delectable, don't they? They're <laughs> tiny and beautiful. Sakarin, who are you doing this for? I've got a wonderful husband and three children, but um, this year I'm being selfish. It's Sakarin time. It's Sakarin time. It's mommy time. I'm doing it for all the housewives out there. You know, they think they can't live their dreams. I'm living my dream. You can be a great mom, a wonderful wife. You can still do this. Uh, I love that. I love that you're doing it's, this for it's yourself. Me it's me time. Great. It's me time. I'm looking forward to tasting those. Thank you, I chef. hope they get you one of those 16 acres. Thank you so much. Today is my friend's wedding, and I'm one of the bridesmaids, so I had to drop my friend literally at the last moment. So I really hope that my dish is good enough to get me through so that leaving my friend's wedding is not all for nothing. Ah, yes! <laughs> Sanette, I see you've actually baked a cake. Sponge, yes. Let's have a look. You've just done this in the bra. I've just done it in the bra, yeah. Wow, that's quite something. I'm going to make it into a, um, a French toast. I'm busy with a pineapple and fennel jam that I'm trying yeah. to make. I can't wait for this. Please hurry up. Traditional breakfast, you'd think everybody will start thinking about bacon and eggs and that. Very few people have done that. And some really, really creative dishes coming through. Sunette has made a cake. She's baked a cake on the braai in a pot. It looks fantastic. And she's going to do um, a kind of French toast kind of vibe with it. I'm really looking forward to it. I've seen some stuffed little mushrooms fill it, and we've got some haddock going into dishes. I really can't wait to tuck into it. Hello, Mary. Let's find out if it was worth missing your friend's wedding for. I hope it's worth it. The crunchiness of the rusty potatoes, that rich but soft texture of the frittata, and the smokiness that you get from the haddock, well put together. Personally, I think that your friend will forgive you for not being there today. I think that you did the right thing by committing to this. I think it's a great dish. Thank you so much. I think what my friend would be saying now is, I think she would wish me all the best. She would want me to go all the way. Sonette, tell me what you were thinking, the whole dish, how it fits together. The best thing in the world is to have cake for breakfast. But my first instinct was French toast. So I thought I'll bake the sponge and I'll make a French toast out of it. And then I made the, the jam with the pineapple. You got quite emotional when we tasted the little jam. I did. Do you know what? I think I've been underselling myself completely. I've always been calling myself a home cook. But our home cook doesn't make it that amazing jam. It's, I'm so inspired. It's... And not many people I know would bake a cake in a wee bar either. I've been dying to try this all morning. That is just divine. It's bloody marvellous. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I am feeling absolutely fantastic. Amanda, is this the dish that's going to take you into the top 16? I'm really hoping. Quite adventurous. I quite liked it. Very refreshing. It was spot on. Mohammed, presentation's a lot nicer than your previous nachos, I see. Yes. Let's have a look. That classical combination is awesome in the mouth. Cooked perfectly. Afternoon, chefs. Donovan, tell us about your breakfast. The breakfast that I made, I thought I was going to try a different concept. I thought I'd give you a smoked chicken. I smoked it with a bit of paprika and a tiny bit of tobacco. Okay. Donovan. Chef. Did you taste the chicken? I did, Chef. Do you smoke? I don't smoke, but 
my reasoning behind it was I actually used such a little bit. It was it was a technique I saw. I don't think you got it right. Okay. This to me tastes like cigarettes. I like to push the envelope and try new techniques. Unfortunately, maybe I should have used a different smoking technique. Joni, breakfast. That's a nice dish. Well presented and very tasty. Neil, this clearly is a bit of a creation. Well, Chef, I was inspired by the sculpture park today. So these are potatoes two ways. One baked and one boiled, covered in leek ash to represent the boulders. Sort of a trout stream running through the sculpture garden. This is the breakfast we were looking for, inspired by where we are. Clever. Thank you, Chef. I hope they send me packing to par. Jason. Chef. I'm a sucker for presentation. Well, that taste as well, absolutely awesome. It's the type of dish I'd expect to find in a top restaurant. <laughs> I'm impressed. I made a dark chocolate and pistachio granola. I served it with a basil and summer berry coulis, grilled fruit and uh, mascarpone cheese. Because I hate talking with my mouth full. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Chef. I like the execution of it. It's tasty. I like the elements. It's a good reflection of you, I think. Thank you, Chef. Kumo. <sighs> Heavy breathing. <laughs> Why? Are you nervous? I didn't think I'd finish my dish, but I'm just happy that it's there and I have something to give to you. From a 19-year-old, this dish, is it good enough to take you into the top 16? Well, we'll wait and see. Thank you, Kumo. I can't say I'm 100% confident, but I think I've shown them enough. Good day, Joseph. Take us to your dish. It was intended to be a bar with vegetables, along with a white chocolate and dual berry sauce. White chocolate? Yes, sir. Have you tasted that? I have, Chef. I, I trust in my sauce. Let's find out. Thanks, Chef. Everyone, that white chocolate didn't work at all. It spoiled your dish. Comedy. Chef. It's probably the best rosti we've had all day. Hello, Karen. Savory, moist, well done. I can't change the things I've put together on a plate. <laughs> I'm scared out of my mind. Celine, I have to mention that I thought there's no ways that you were ever going to make caramel, and you did. Very, very impressive. Very impressive. Thank you, sir. That's a classic dish with an impressionist twist. I think it works beautifully. You do? I do. I'm not an emotional person at all. This is, it's, it's really, it's not what I expected at all.